Assalamu alaikum and hi everybody. Good connecting with you again. Okay now, we will continue our online class on EBT 419 Applied Metallurgy. Today we are discussing about the investment casting in expandable mold process. Referring the chart here, in expandable mold casting, investment casting directly placed under expandable pattern. Investment casting is a manufacturing process, that is utilized to cast a wide variety of items, including high quality, high performance industrial parts. A wide variety of alloys can be used, from steel, and aluminium to highly specialized materials. What is investment casting? Well, investment casting is an industrial process based on lost wax casting, one of the oldest known metal forming techniques. The term lost wax casting can also refer to modern investment casting processes. Investment casting is valued for its ability to produce components with accuracy, repeatability, versatility, and integrity in a variety of metals, and high-performance alloys. Much of the wax used in investment casting can be reclaimed, and reused. The material is poured into a cavity in a refractory material that is an exact duplicate of the desired part. Due to the hardness of refractory materials used, investment casting can produce products with exceptional surface qualities, which can reduce the need for secondary machine processes. The process can be used for both small castings of a few grams, and large castings weighing several hundred kilograms. It can be more expensive than die casting, or sand casting, but per unit costs decrease with large volumes. Investment casting can produce complicated shapes, that would be difficult, or impossible with other casting methods. It can also produce products with exceptional surface qualities, and low tolerances with minimal surface finishing, or machining required. Now, why should we learn investment casting process today? Well, look at the picture on the typical parts produced by investment casting here. Investment casting can produce very thin, and most complex features. If we want to produce very thin sections, say of the order of 0.75 mm or in the cases where extremely complex features have to be produced, then, investment casting is the only solution. Next reason, it offers excellent surface finish. Sand castings do not give us very good surface finish. We have to machine it to obtain a good surface finish, whereas, investment casting offers us excellent surface finish. Most of the times no machining is required or minimum machining is required. Next reason it offers excellent dimensional accuracy. Means, the difference between the size of the pattern and their size of the casting is almost zero. So, it offers the excellent dimensional accuracy. Next, investment casting can be used to cast all the metals and alloys. How casting and manufacturing methods can be used to process all the metals and alloys. Look at the table here, we can see that metals and alloys covered in investment casting process. So, along with this, we can also see that, there is not all metals and alloys can be processed in the other casting and manufacturing method. Now, let us consider the topic of our interest, that is the investment casting. Well, in the investment casting, you can see that ductile iron, tool steel, steel, stainless steel, aluminium, magnesium and it alloys, copper, bronze, brass alloys, titanium alloys, and finally, super alloys also can be cast. Virtually, all the metals, and alloys can be cast using investment casting process. So, these are the special features of investment casting process. Among all the casting and manufacturing process, investment casting gains this unique importance that every alloy, and every metal can be cast using investment casting process. Investment casting process procedure. Generally, a wax pattern is coated with a ceramic material, which when hardened, adopts the internal geometry of the desired casting. In most cases, multiple parts are cast together for efficiency by attaching individual wax patterns to a central wax stick called, a sprue. The wax is melted out of the pattern, which is why it is also known as the lost wax process, and molten metal is poured into the cavity. When the metal solidifies, the ceramic mold is broken off, leaving the near net shape of the desired part. Finishing, testing and packaging complete the process. Look at the pictures here. First, tooling and pattern making. A tool is built according to the required specifications, 
let's say it is indicate as a cold wax is then injected into the tool to create a wax pattern or prototype as indicated as b this wax pattern or prototype will hold precise dimensional requirements in the final casting second pattern assembly the wax patterns are assembled onto the sprue third dipping and coating successive layers of ceramic a and stucco b are applied to the sprue assembly to form a hard shell fourth the waxing and firing the molds are flash fired to remove the wax and sprue materials it is then heated to 1800 degrees celsius and placed on a sand bed to be ready for pouring fifth casting molten metal up to 3000 degrees celsius is poured into the hollow mold and then cooled sixth knockout the ceramic shell is broken off and the individual castings are cut away seventh finishing excess metal is removed surfaces are finished and castings are heat treated eighth testing and inspection castings undergo thorough testing and inspection to ensure that they meet dimensional tolerances and specifications ninth packing and shipping castings are securely packaged for shipping to the customer now let's take a look a video clip on investment casting process the first stage of the process is to produce an exact replica or pattern of the required casting. This is made by injecting wax into a die. The wax pattern is then assembled onto a wax feeder system. Each assembly or tree may have just one large pattern or many small patterns. The wax assembly is then dipped into high-grade ceramic slurry by a large robot. This is the most important coating as the metal will lie next to it when poured into the mold. Whilst the thin slurry coating is still wet, larger particles of ceramic are dropped onto the wet surface to build a thicker coat. After drying, this coating process or investment process is repeated several times, building a shell mold thickness appropriate to the size of casting and metal to be cast. After the finished shell mold is dried, the wax is melted out in a steam autoclave, hence the name Lost Wax Process. The molds are fired at over 1000 degrees centigrade to remove any remaining wax and to strengthen the mold. Molten metal is then poured into the molds whilst they are still hot, enabling the metal to run into thin wall sections. After cooling, the ceramic shell mold is broken away and each casting is cut away from the feeder system. The castings are carefully fettled, blasted and heat treated. A setting operation may also be required. Material testing, x-ray, dye penetrant or machining can then be carried out if required. Advantages of Investment Casting Actually, the advantages of investment casting has been mentioned earlier in slide entitled Why Investment Casting Process. So, this slide just to adds to what was previously described. There are some big advantages of using investment casting to get the piece you desire. One such advantage is that, it is possible to make more intricate forms. Also, the casting product has a very smooth surface, which is created without a parting line. The parts produced with the highest precision. No machining or detailing required. And since the finished piece will need no welding or assembling, you save on time and cost that would be required using other methods. More complex parts to be cast, so, the process of combining several parts together to get the intricate shape can be eliminated. This not only saves time and money, but it also diminishes the chances that an error could occur while combining the parts. Also, many different metals, and alloys can be used in investment casting, diminishing the need for designers to worry about the production of the casting they have visualized. A larger sized product that can be made using investment casting is turbine blades with complex shapes for power generation industries. 
The firearm industry is another example of where smaller precision parts can be cast. Some of these parts include firearm receivers, triggers, and hammers. There are however, some disadvantages to investment casting. One of the biggest disadvantages is size limitation. Usually, only smaller castings, up to about 113 kilograms, can be made using this process. There have been situations, where it has been used to produce somewhat larger parts, but for the most part, those interested in using this process should stick to smaller, which is more complex pieces. Another downside is the initial cost. Although investment casting saves on cost in a variety of ways, preparation work can be labor-intensive compared to other methods. The preparation of the wax patterns, and shell molds require much time, and effort to ensure a quality product. On a similar note, large machinery is required for this process, and when extremely high volume manufacturing is desired, the associated costs, and longer cycle times can make investment casting a less suitable option depending on your needs, and deadlines. Another inconvenience that you can run into with investment casting is the use of holes in the mold. They cannot be smaller than about 1.6 mm and usually cannot be any deeper than about 1.5 times the diameter. So, if these limitations don't suit the design of the casting, then another process may need to be used. In summary, the investment casting process, a refractory slurry is formed around a wax or plastic pattern, and allowed to harden. The pattern is then melted out, and the mold is baked. Molten metal is poured into the mold, and solidifies. The mold is then, broken away from the casting. Advantages, excellent surface finish, high dimensional accuracy, almost unlimited intricacy, almost any metal can be cast, no flash or parting line concerns. Limitations, costly patterns and molds, labor costs can be high, limited size. Common metals, just about any castable metal. Aluminum, copper, and steel dominate, also performed with stainless super alloy steel, nickel, magnesium, and the precious metals. Size limits, as small as 3 gram but usually less than 5 kilograms. Thickness limits, as thin as 0.06 centimeters, but less than 7.5 centimeters. Typical tolerances, 0.01 cm for the first 2.5 cm and 0.002 cm for each additional centimeter. Draft allowance, none required. Surface finish, 1.3 to 4 microns RMS. In summary, the investment casting process, a refractory slurry is formed around a wax or plastic pattern, and allowed to harden. The pattern is then melted out, and the mold is baked. Molten metal is poured into the mold, and solidifies. The mold is then, broken away from the casting. Advantages, excellent surface finish, high dimensional accuracy, almost unlimited intricacy, almost any metal can be cast, no flash or parting line concerns. Limitations, costly patterns, and molds, labor costs can be high, limited size. Common metals, just about any castable metal. Aluminum, copper, and steel dominate, also performed with stainless superalloy steel, nickel, magnesium, and the precious metals. Size limits, as small as 3 grams but usually less than 5 kilograms. Thickness limits, as thin as 0.06 cm, but less than 7.5 cm. Typical tolerances, 0.01 cm for the first 2.5 cm and 0.002 cm for each additional cm. Draft allowance, none required. Surface finish, 1.3 to 4 microns RMS. Okay, that's all for now. We will continue the online lecture on non-expendable mold on the next slide. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you require further information through our WhatsApp and Telegram class group. Thank you very much for your attention. Assalamu alaikum. See you then. Bye.